So today I'm going to teach you how to update to the latest version of libgdx. Literally, you just open up the libgdx folder you had downloaded, you know, way back, you know, with all this shit, and open the setup UI. You don't need to download anything, okay? The setup UI will do it for you. So I'm going to update, okay? And you've got the option to update to a stable version or a nightly version. Also, hold on, I'd just like to point out before you do any of this, if there's any zips in here, just delete them, okay? Delete them. So I've got two options here. I can update to a stable version of GDX or a nightly version. Nightly versions are more up to date, but they're more buggy. I'm just going to go ahead and update to a stable version, which is 0.9.9. .9. I believe our project is 0.9.8, but I'm not sure. So just give that some time, and while that's doing that, we're going to open up our project, <coughs> which is located here. My game. Actually, my project's actually already updated to 0.9.9. .9. Yours probably isn't. So there we go. Okay, it's all good. Let's open the gener the update screen even. And uh oh, I forgot these two engines. And we never use them. Uh but you know, just have them there just in case. And now we're all updated. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, restart Eclipse, just for safe measures. Now your libgdx game should have updated to 0.9.9. 0.9.9 uh, implements a load of new 3D features, which I don't understand. Uh, there's Android 32-bit support, uh, so, you know, x86 CPUs on Android. Uh, like, a shitload of bug fixes, and mainly, uh, the RoboVM backend, which replaces the Zamorin backend, so no longer do you have to pay for iOS development. You used to have to pay four hundred dollars a year, plus the hundred dollar Apple developer fee, to get uh, libgdx games on iOS. But now you don't need that. Okay, uh, <coughs> all you need is now all you need is libgdx 0.9.9 plus the Apple developer contract, which is necessary in all cases. So yeah, uh, we will go through iOS uh, publishing and testing in tutorial 48. So stay tuned for that. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial, which is HTML5 publishing. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.